This is the Barbershop Show. Live from Carter's Barbershop, 3622 West Sutton in Chicago's North Lawndale neighborhood. With your host, WBEZ's Richard Steele, brought to you every Friday by the Chicago Reporter. Well, this is the week before the Super Bowl, so you would figure there'd be not a lot of stuff to talk about, but Chicago was really a hotbed of information and news and sports. First off, the whole situation with Wrigley Field and what's going on there, the changes, and hopefully the city and Wrigley Field and the rooftops will get their act together and that will happen. We have the Blackhawks winning four games, all four games this season, including a 3-2 to two overtime win last night. Then you look at the Bulls, they are continuing to win, and that Joaquin Noah and Carlos Boozer make the All-Star team, and we're waiting for Derrick Rose to come back. Hopefully it'll happen soon. A student ended up uh, dying. Uh, there was a brawl inside uh, during the game, and uh, then these guys who were shooting, I guess, I don't know who they were shooting at, but they, they hit a kid who, the kid had nothing to do with anything. He was an honor student who just, his, his parents watched him very closely, monitored his activities so that he wouldn't get in, into any trouble, and didn't expect that anything like that could ever happen. And, uh, and this kid is dead. Now the school superintendent has suspended the two coaches because they got at each other during the game. And um, there's going to be a big meeting, right, with all the coaches. Yes, and they should. Th this is this is when it, it it broke my heart when I when I when I read the outcome of what happened, and I and I saw uh, the tape of the game where the coaches inflamed it. When you have two coaches who are supposed to be the role models, who are supposed to be the ones that these young men, and who sometimes don't have fathers of their own, are relying on them to lead them, and they allowed to, the the verbiage to go on to put things on, 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 on the internet and, and to flame a fire between two teams where they have a brawl on the field, on the, on the court. And then, you know, it just incites everybody else into the action. And there's no reason, first off, there should not be, you know, they should be having, they should have gun checks before they walk in that building. There should be a metal detector. And well, I think they did, I think they did do that because the shooting took place outside. I know, but you know what, I'd have it going out, I, I mean, I would have police stationed at all, I, you know, I went to Austin High School and I was, I was there when we had all these type of things happen, and we had police officers stationed everywhere. We had police officers at the football fields, at the basketball games. It wasn't pretty, but you got to do it because you got to have to save for the, save for those kids. They need and they deserve the right to be safe.